Hello Clashlings, this is Kalasha Clan here. Now today I'm going to be bringing you a base review of a player, uh, his name is James. Um, he's level 68, he's Town Hall 8 and he is in the Clan Gorn Postal. So let's get this one underway. Now when I'm looking at this base, personally I think this is quite a unique base. It, it's very unique, um, I'm, I don't think I've seen this one before, but he's... um. If this guy did design the base himself, he definitely knows um, the basics and the advanced, more of the advanced stuff on how to design a base. You know, he's got his triangulated defences, the wizard towers, air defences, and mortars in a triangle. He's got all his point defence and um, arch towers, cannons evened out. And he's got his town hall on the outside and the clan castle in the middle. Now, um,. This guy, I think he's a he's a probably a big one on wall staggering. He's got a lot of staggered walls on each layer um, of his base, which means it can take a lot of wall breakers to get into the centre of the base. From either side, he would need uh, the other player would need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten wall breakers to get in the core. That is absolutely crazy. Uh, James, if you did design this base yourself, spectacular man. Great job. Anyway, um, I think he treasures all of his resources here. He's got all of his resources pretty well uh, protected. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight spots where a hidden Tesla could be, so that definitely keeps the attacker guessing. Um, there's lots of little places for bombs and spring traps, and looks like he's rocking a pretty good attack strategy there with some giants, uh, wall breakers, goblins, archers, all that basic stuff, the tier one troops. Um. Yeah, there's nothing more really I could say about this base. It's a great base. You know, like I said in the last base review, if I was willing to change base, I would definitely be going to this one. It is such a good base. It, you know, if um he could somehow modify the base, take out the clan castle, chuck the town hall in the middle, and do some stuff um to make the town hall fit, this I reckon this would be such a good trophy base in probably uh, Crystal League 2 maybe. I think that's where this base would take him. Probably not any higher with the levels of walls and defences he has, but like I said before, he's definitely doing a great job on all of his upgrading. Uh, well done, James, and that's going to be wrapping it up for this base review. It's a spectacular base. Uh, James asked me to review it in the comments below, and I have done it now. So, uh, well done, James, like I said before, and I'll see you all later. Peace out. Ain't nobody got time for that.